We saw Damn, what happened with Team Secret, me. where they ignored the Medusa. Uh, ignored the, yeah. And Medusa destroyed everything, and Sir Action Slacks is sleeping through this, but his hero is picked. It's Is that a mid-Omni Knight? That's a mid-Omni! What is happening? <laughs> what is actually going on? Eric's kill, I am actually going to back Fantastic Five. I love their lineup for this one. Uh, and the team with the first tower kill. That can actually go multiple ways. Wow, they're actually going to try and... Well, okay. Okay, killing this bear could be massive. They're body blocking it up. Degen aura. They are just trying to hold it here. You're right, it's actually a degen aura leveled up. They're going to wall it. you got another stomp in one second time. Cinderin, well, that's a nice decay to get. There's a whole bunch of them. But then the stomp that puts Cinderin in a world of hurt. He's got 880 HP. And then, in fact, the Illidan. crush from Era. This is the way to do it. Illidan's going to drop his first blood. It goes first the way of escape gaming. Okay, team with first tower killer can be escaped. Yep. Um... <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. F5 does need to get their levels up, though. It is a, it is a bit greedy with the Medusa, Elder Titan, Disruptor, Trilane. All three of those heroes need levels. They need farm. Mm -hmm. Medusa currently is only six for one up against the 14-6 of Era. Oh, they're Era. Yep, the Illidan's got two. There's your crush. It goes on Illidan. He's actually got the shields up for the moment, but the damage output is just too high from Escape. They keep going. They move over towards the Elder Titan. The second crush catching out both heroes. They move down to Yol. Yap's going to switch that aggro over. He didn't do it in time, and he'll actually go down to the tower. The goal will be splitting Cinder and also diving into the tower. The double TPs are coming. Cinder does not have a TP. Era is trapped here, and Illidan, he wants blood. He wants kills. Put down a spirit ET and give the vision. Find the heroes. The stomp way too early. Okay, will it be enough? They're only catching out Era, Cinder is still hiding here, and Era, where's the tree break? He can't, okay, now he'll finally get through. He waited for the TP so he get a two-man crush. Still loses his life, and Did Cinderin, about Cinderin? I don't know, the world's forgotten about Cinderin. Back behind the tower, Yabsaw baby hasn't forgotten. Y'all's having a look around. So where's Cinderin gonna go? He's got five HP, the spirit, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh man. That's like a wrecking ball. Mystic snaking down k all the time, so k has no attack. mana. I, one charge is like the only thing, and his arcane boots yeah, is it. And soaring, but um, yeah. yeah, but like, like that's gonna give you enough to maybe escape. But you'll never have enough to be aggressive against Illidan. Yeah, no way. I mean, the thing is that. Really and hard. now they're gonna go on him. They have to commit Yo, a lot of heroes. This to time this. actually has mana. So they start the glimpse, put him up in the wall storm, and Keizu purifications also here. They bring four heroes down to make sure the Keizu will die. Stone Gaze as well. Okay. That's some hatred, Keizu. He cannot survive this one if F5 want to make this worth it. But he's still 120 life. They need to finish the job. Purification not available. Now Yapso tethers in. Keizu, the immortal timber, oh will get relocated God. out. They don't find the kill. Here is trying to scramble himself back behind the tower. They put up the wall and the dive. The wall didn't come up in time. So the dive will fail and Syndrome will rotate over. The tombstone very safely over on ESC's side of the river and bring in Keizu back to full life, back to full mana. No reactive armor charges up on him, but still it won't really matter. F5, they have to dive back past their tier 1 tower for safety. At least they won't have to deal with a tombstone, but they have to deal with a bear mauling up BZZ. Escape, they're finding more openings. Now going 10 to 6, and the timber store survives and keeps his bloodstone charges. Previously, when F5 played their Medusa. Okay. And this is the one hero I think Escape needs to make sure gets shut down. Yes, you're able to survive, but it's also the weakness. Okay, maybe we just watch F5 coming in. They need to get rid of the tombstone. And right, the wall comes up, gives the vision on the high ground. The bear comes out, and Escape won't try and fight. Stone Gaze turns off from Illidan. The Soul Rip keeps the tombstone alive. They have to get rid of this zombie horde. Uh, if they don't do it, then, well, the fight will continue. And there we go. F5, Roshan still low. Escape of being scared out of the pit. They need an opening. There's a double stun. Pasha starts with a raw. Necro books are out. Yep, so just explodes and they glimpse Cinder and into this fight too. Necro units are still alive and escape. Well, you thought they had a great fight at bottom lane. Now the storm comes in. Ira can't find himself a good crush, but he's between the heroes. The storm, it keeps Keizu under control too. They are basically playing around the Timbersaw, not wanting to let him be involved until now. Illidan may be forced to do it, but with the Mystic Snake, they burn through the mana. These Necro units have stayed alive almost this entire time. The Sharker reveals he's up on the hill. They glimpse him back down again, and they're going to try and find the kill, the purification, but the relocate out. Once again, Yamsor is there for his teammate. Mystic Snake, all you want. Nice thing is, especially too with uh, the tether, and tether into Soul Rip, it's actually a, a huge amount of healing. It's 480 and then doubled, or one and a half times as much, so.
Well, they've been through Koifus back. Koifus is going to re-summon. He knows he can just force the issue. Because he's alone through it. Looms back and take K2 out of this one. The Yule Scepter goes up and towards the air. As the raw splitter over on the side. Era gets far enough away and then turns on that arm at the right time. But Stone Gate's Elden gets in front. Era's gonna go down. They turn on the Guardian Angel, looking for the extra saving grace. As they bring down the tombstone and look for more kills, Keizu's on the run. Yep, so his relocate was off the mark too. They're pinging him out and they look like they're gonna go for the kill here on him. Do they have enough? Yep, so he's gonna tether target. Tether the lone the bear. druid bear came in. And he looks like he's going to be able to walk himself off this one. Now it's on cooldown for a little bit longer. The last ESC is going to the high ground without taking heavy amounts of damage. As, uh, well, the tether keeping the bear alive. Actually, Absol instantly cancelled that one. And now it's the bear. Terra oh, jumps in. Off the repel. And, well, BZZ, he's going to go down. He thought he was safe to disrupt the storm with the ET splitter. It hits Keizu and breaks the Aegis Immortal with a roar out too. They're trying to burn down the mana of Keizu. They have to relocate him back just a little bit, not too far, but out of peril of F5. Then he can reinitiate back in again with a blink cross from here, catching Pasha and RMS. ESC inside the base of F5, maybe a little bit against their will. Elden still trying to pump out damage, but he doesn't have that much. The Rack is going to go down in favor of ESC to start with. So welcome to one prediction as Keizu tethers himself away in a little bit too deep. You have the level 4 glimpse and who are they bringing back? It's going to be Era, but he's going to blink dagger available and no wall to hold him in. They have no damage. Uh, he'll come out and farm up this wave. The courier is going to do the dirty work, but it might be better if he uses his own hero. The obs and sentry will be scouting the movement out. The Courier's coming in too, he's 5 gold short, so he can't get it straight away. So he's here, a little bit before his time, but then Era jumps in, the BKB protection. Does he actually want to buy it now? He's next to the shop, he could fight it, and yep, buys it mid-fight. Needs this damage, Sinner might go down pretty damn quickly, we'll stick with Illidan. They bring down the tombstone, Yapsol's here, Sinner and it's dropping quickly, they're keeping the split shot working. And Illidan, it's a double kill for him, the brand's fresh spanking new rapier, going to work. Meanwhile over on the side, Keizu, he's trying to chase off the Yol, the repels over on him that won't stop Keizu from finding the kill. Timbersaw will find that one, but now Illidan makes his way down. Guardian Angel gonna be triggered. Keizu should be out of tank with this one. They bring through, they get through the creep wave as Keizu brings down a triple kill on the Omni Knight. Pasha and Illidan both need to retreat. And they need to keep the rapier secret. They need to keep it safe. Maybe not so secret. For this yeah, run. they actually saw the Astral Spirit up on the top lane and then drew a direct line saying, Yo guys, F5 is on this hill. So the Spirit will come in, he'll have a look inside the pit, the Mystic Snake will bounce, and she triggers the block of the of Roshan with the Crush as well. Keizu will be slowed up for a little bit. Illidan, he wants to come forward. The problem is that he cannot lose this Rapier. So starts the Stone Gate, looks to snatch out the Aegis the Immortal, and he's actually, well, the kill goes to the Dire side, so Medusa will snatch the Aegis the Immortal. Now looking to pump the damage in, that armor turned on Era, but the fight still splitting up with that, this Ashley. Have they got enough damage? With the split shot, Sinneran's dropping down low, the easy split will happen. They bring down the Bear, Coif will have to resummon this one, but Era back in for the two-man crush with a double Chakra. They're burning through Illidan, BZZ has to repel and move himself away from this one while Illidan just trying to beat tower defense at the moment. Sinner is being chased down by Pass from the back lines, Yapsor's gonna help him out, but Illidan focusing the damage, Sinner inside the pit using the Fog of Waters to five, and they don't know exactly who they're trying to kill off here. With the split shot from Illidan, he just wants everyone but can't claim one. They are just splitting up this entire fight. He might get the secondary bear, but now he's actually gonna lose the rapier, and with that, he should be losing the game. The Aegis Immortal will give him more time. Relocates on the way, BZZ makes his way forward. He needs to make this perfect timing to save up Illidan, who wants to continue to battle against the rest of ESC. Push him up the hill, get him up to safety, make it so Keizu has to keep working hard for this one. The Yule's up from Keizu, keeps fighting up against Illidan, and maybe now he'll start to back off as mana drops down low. ESC are still on the run, Illidan to the front lines. Find Cinder, it's amazing what happens when he focuses his damage. Pasha gets the vision, needs the raw to actually find any kind of kill here. The Cinder just outruns him. <laughs> He's actually got better movement speed at the moment. Get it? We just amplified it. Ah, uh, <laughs> right, it's fine. I live with it. All right, I'll have it right as thread. That's fine. Not if you asked for it. Now you won't. Cast this game Top for lane. ten years in advance. Raw on Good the raw. That's a lot of damage, and well, that's all it takes to kill off a bear. But your raw is down for now. As now they slow down Keizu, Illidan is still good damage, ripping into Keizu when he misses the Timber Chain, so Illidan will be able to hit a little bit longer. The slow doesn't make it easy for Keizu to walk out of here.
And they managed to clean up the creep wave. Necrobooks have also been committed. Cinderin holding onto that tombstone for now, but then that split shot. Dropping Cinderin down so low, they can bring down this Undying. The relocate will happen, but you burn through the Undying still. Era so low on life, and look at the damage output. He's standing his ground up against F5. Now the easy split, they want to snap him. The second he comes out, the Aegis, and they've got it. He can't even turn the armor on in time. Now he will be still in the storm. They hold the line against E E E S C. <laughs> and now you bring down the freaking. I had some old fucking. Just... That's it! That's it. We've lost Toby. We're going to IO camp. I'm having a break. Look at what else we have. So we have the, yeah, the Hex that we were seeing. I mean, Yapsor has, like, this is the most farmed whips I've ever seen in my life. Okay, Illidan. Okay, do me a favor. Like, he's still got an extra 6.4k gold. <laughs> Buy up a second Raker and keep it back at well. Yeah, that's probably the, that's probably his play soon. Yeah. Because if, if you, okay, jump, cross, kill, and actually losing mana quickly, they are actually burning through him, but then you will have the Guardian Angel kick in, they force up Ilden out with the ET Splitter, it'll also keep ESC away from the front lines. Ilden has to go back, he needs to regen, right now. He's got to watch his positioning, that could have been a death there on him. It's, it's like they're trying to use him as bait, but he uh, just underestimated how much mana they are actually burning off him. Turns on the stone gaze, they lock in the timber saw, can't go anywhere, but it's up on top lane. The bear will be brought down, but not before it brought down the melee rack, as Illidan keeps standing its ground, another good stomp. He's got Mystic Snake available, as ESC, they're just trying to cut. Now, unfortunately, they can't cut through the uh, the racks with Chakram, even though that really wouldn't make a lot of sense. They're there for show right now. Okay, did Aegis just, yeah, Aegis just timed out too. So that's no longer available. Keizu, that mini bash from Illidan is doing us work. They get rid of the ward, Glimpse back now. They're looking to bring down Keizu. Big damage from Illidan. The relocate! Just in time, just far enough away. Illidan's still going to get rid of this free wave. Cinder is now the man on the front line. That's BZZ with the Shiva Scars. Jumping the front line, slowing down ESC. He's trying to retreat back out. Ero gets the double crush, but now with his BKB, he's in too close as well. He's dropping down. That tombs that are still up. Finally bring it down as BZZ lives through all of this, and they're going to start the Glimpse. Bringing back Keizu, ESC, they have to actually get themselves out of this one. Yapstor, no relocate available. He can tether into cheese, but that won't be oh, enough. He actually tried to get it off, but it doesn't work. The shields come up. Yapstor, the Rax is though, the bear. They have to go home. They have to go home. The top's been taken. The mid, only the range remains. And Yapstor actually kills BZZ. But yeah, the bear went in and took out the range Rax top, finished that out, took out the melee Rax mid, and actually finished off that tier 4 tower as well in the mid lane. Could you also imagine if this, this is the way escape don't qualify? Like they form as no diggity. They perform so damn well in competitions leading up to TI. Yep, now Cinderin, they need a little bit of help. Where's the BT? And the Storm gonna come in, locking Cinderin down, but it's Illidan. Okay, this could be the play right now. They're going to try and go for the straight push up through mid. Fortifications available right now for escape. You have a defense from the ET. Illidan wants to hold the line here. He still needs to attack. Kill off the creep wave, and now once they have enough, they break through the Lincoln Sphere. Elder dropping down to half life. The bottom lane, the mid lane is pushed in. This could be the GG push. They need to find kills right now. As Heizu, he is up in low. The crush is there. The bear cannot win this game by himself, or can it? It will. Yazor's coming in. They trigger the GA, but people need to come home. They are losing their home right now. The bear comes back up. Will it be enough? Down to 1k. They still can't beat it down. Three heroes gone. GG. The call has to come out. They want to buy back. They might be able to keep the bear off, but Yol's calling it out right now. The GG is there. The bear has actually stopped attacking in front of it. They bash it down. They bring it down. And well, the rack, it doesn't matter. They actually follow through with the GG. There is no Fishman's GG this time around. 67 minutes, but F5 did not make that easy for escape. No, they didn't. But inevitably, we, we kind of started to see what was happening with that Agonim's Lone Druid Bear, the, with the way the fights progressed, with the Wisp and the Undying, so many heal, so many t different forms of healing, Timbersaw being extremely tanky, Slardar being super tanky. They're not able to get any kills quickly, and that's just what's going to happen. The team